Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about purchase orders. So when you actually go to visit a buyer and they're like, yes, we love your range, we'd love to stock it in our store, um, you actually have a purchase order that the buyer can fill out um, so you know exactly what your pre-order is and you know how much um, to order from your manufacturer or to get made. So I'm going to give you two templates that you can download from this e-class so you can actually modify it. I'll just show you what they are. So I've got two that you can use one would be um, if you don't have any sizing so if it was accessories or if it was one size fit all um, so here um, you would insert your company name or label name you could even insert a little picture or logo uh, and then you've got the words purchase order and then this automatically fills out the date right here and then purchase order number, you can create a number here. You could create your own coding. So you could uh, start off using the, um, for example, the retail store um, name and then a number. Then you put your address here. And then vendor, this is your retail store. So you actually put the fashion buyer's name, then the retail store and their company address. You might like to put the head office address because if they actually have a couple of different stores, they might get you to deliver um, to a different address. So that's why we've got a ship to over here. So you'd actually fill out what store is this order going to. Now, um, you may not need these fields here so feel free to delete it if you want to um, the shipping terms um, FOB stands for freight on board um, so that's the cost um, of the freight and ship via you might actually might put the company name in there but if you don't need that you can just feel free to delete so you just um, highlight the Excel spreadsheet um, column and row and hit the command key sorry control key and then hit delete and then it'll delete the row um, okay so beneath here this is the important part so this is where the buyer will actually put the details so you can put your item number which is like your style code the description how many they're buying the unit price so this is your wholesale price and this will automatically do the total for you so if the unit price was only ten dollars you just type in ten dollars and see so automatically it's done a total for you 15 times 10 and it's done a total down here now so you just keep on filling out all the orders or the buyer might do this um, for you it's you can work it out with the buyer um, and then what you might have to do is just type in the tax rate because different um, states and different countries have different tax rates so you can just put in what applies to your country there um, S and H stands for shipping and handling so you might have one bulk fee for shipping and handling um, and anything else there and then it'll give you a total and then in this column here you just put other comments and special instructions that the buyer might request and down here this is the important part you need to get the buyer to actually sign this um, and then date it so that's the first example if you don't have sizing and then the second example or template that you can use is this one so this is the clothing purchase order template and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better okay hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys okay so same thing insert your company name or label name and you might like to insert a picture or a logo and then your um, address and contact details you might like to put um, a website um, in there as well the date will automatically um, insert there for you then put the PO number and then the same thing your vendor which is actually your fashion buyer their name the company name street address phone number all of that and then where the order is actually being shipped to because it could be a slightly different address and then here you put your style number now I've inserted a column here for color because you may have one style and maybe you're making it in three different colors for example um, if it was a simple jersey dress the buyer might be able to order in white in red or in black so if the buyer wants black um, sexy dress <laughs> 
for example, then they would fill out um, what sizing. So if you're in America, um, your sizing is going to be different to Europe and Australia. So just um, modify it here. So if it's a zero, two, four, six, eight, like that, you can just do modify from there. And the buyer will go, okay, yeah, I'd like um, eight size sixes, ten size eights, ten size tens, whoop, eight size twelves, and only two size fourteens. Then you do the, the total here. So that's actually 20, 36, 38 in total that the buyer is buying for. Um, the unit price, if it's $49 and it's retailing for say 100, you just put the wholesale price in here and it's automatically added it up for me. Now if they then want to buy the same dress but a different colour, you write the dress again but you'd actually go red this time. Um, and they might only order, for example, half of what they order in black because red may not be as good a seller as the black. So they might go a four, five, five, four in a one, which would equal 19 at 49.95. It's done the total. So you just keep on going um, down like that and at the um, end it will add it up for you and make sure you modify the tax rate there and put any special comments. Um, make sure they're signed down here um, and date it and I've just put a little note here. Please note that by signing this document, you agree to our trading terms. So you want the buyer to realize that when they place this order, you've got particular trading terms that they have to adhere to. So you, you also need to um, show them your trading terms and talk about them. Um, so when they're signing this, they actually realize and they can't sort of go back on their order and you know go, look, I want to cancel the order two months later after you've already purchased it all. Um, so in the next um, little video I'll talk about the trading terms there but I think it's really important just to put it on your purchase order so they realize that um, they definitely are signing their lives away with this order. So there you have it, that's your purchase order. You can, it's in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so Excel, um, most of you should have on your Mac or um, PC computer. Um, and you can just modify it and save it for yourself. Um, so you can just download it below.